So a few years ago now, the movie Wreck-It Ralph came out, and a few people did response videos to that movie, mainly claiming that it reinforced the idea of male disposability. Now, I really wasn't up for making videos back then, so I didn't participate in the discussion straight away, so I guess sorry for the delay. Anyway, the statement, statements that were made really kind of bothered me, mostly due to my own past experiences, I guess. Now, while I fully acknowledge that male disposability is indeed a thing, and that it's a fairly common theme in various forms of media as well as in real life, I have to disagree that that's what we're seeing in this movie. What we have in Wreck-It Ralph is a man that leads a pointless, meaningless, soul-crushing existence that can barely be classified as a life. He's unloved, obviously depressed, he's shunned by his neighbors slash co-workers, and he can't seem to find the will and energy needed to put together a decent place for himself to live. The main character, Ralph, has literally nothing to live for at all. His existence is on a slow death spiral that would have eventually led to the taking down of his game, which would have displaced his neighbors slash co-workers and possibly would have led to the, the deaths of some of them. All Ralph really wanted was to break the cycle of misery and pain he was trapped in. Ultimately, he wanted to matter as a person, not just a job title. And yet, and yeah, he, he did screw things up pretty badly for a time, but he did make up for it in the end and got pretty much everything he wanted. Now then, Ralph does put himself in what appears to be a very suicidal situation with no hope of survival. He does this because he's found potential meaning. He's found something like the kind of love and acceptance that a father does, and he found it in the eyes of a child. A child who still had hopes and dreams and aspirations and a real zest for life. A child who Ralph came to love as some something like a daughter. A child who even came to love him back as something like a father. A child who would most definitely have died if not for Ralph's actions and his quick thinking. Now, yes, Ralph went headlong, potentially into the jaws of death willingly, but he did so without regret. He did, did, did this because he was not only trying to bring meaning to his own meaningless existence, but also to give this child a chance at life that he himself never had and never felt that he could have had. Here, Ralph had an opportunity to not only give his life meaning, but to be remembered and to be loved. Yes, it's tragic that it had to come to that, but if he had died saving a life, how would it have been worse than simply killing himself? If anything, Ralph's actions drew attention to the importance of fathers and children's lives, as well as the hopelessness and despair that leads many men in real life to suicide. And what if Ralph had chosen just to leave her to, there to die like that, like she begged him to? Well, I think things it would have made things worse. I think Ralph would have lost it completely, and very quickly, and I think a lot more people would have suffered and died. Another argument I heard was that it support the movie supported the feminist narrative because the child was a girl. Honestly, I don't think that mattered. I think the kid could have been a boy or a girl, and would have had the same outcome. I think that that kid would have meant the same to him. I don't think he would have cared either way. But that's just my opinion. Bring it on, trolls.